Oh, you got me? Yeah. What's up, nigga? How you feel about the group, man? Man, I mean, sometimes that shit cool, but most of the time that shit kind as fuck. Before Lil Yachty would drop two mixtapes and find fame in 2016 with his hits Minnesota and One Night. Promise that I need you there. Ain't no other bitch gon' fuck me like you do, I swear. Put that on my gang, I swear. Before Lil Yachty would model in Kanye West's Yeezy season 3 and would earn $1 million, enough to buy his mama a car. What did y'all say? You look around and there's so many Kanye's. I used to love Kanye. Before his original style, high pitched vocals, and nasally voice would earn him comparisons to his own idol, Andre 3000. Before Lil Yachty would light it up with Ebro on Hot 97 FM. Oh, at the door for Lil B put a curse. Ooh, on me. Mmm, mmm, fill in the beat. Ooh, mmm, mmm. Actually, following all that, they had some beef on Twitter. Now, Lil Yachty, or NC Lil Boat, has said himself in interviews that his success happened overnight. After attending college for two short months and hating it because he didn't fit in, and feeling like the education system is stuck 10 years in the past, well, young Miles, he dropped out. But he needed a future, so he decided to pour all his energy into making music, his own kind of music. Now, it seems like things took off for him at the right time because he found himself in trouble with the law for shopping in Palm Springs with fake credit cards, and he had to post a bail of $11,000 with real money. Yeah, not the funny money stuff. Now this dude has always stood out from the pack and growing up he loved old school wrestling and looking up to artists that were different including Lil B, Soldier Boy and Andre 3000. He also opted for a Ronald McDonald hairdo at the age of 15. If you think he did it to be cool, he wasn't getting any love from the ladies back in high school but things have certainly turned around for him. Who is Lil Yachty? You know what I'm saying? The nigga with the red hair, the nigga with the braids, you know what I'm saying? 100,000 bitches around me, you feel me? What's going on guys? My name is Mike McCrudden documenting the life and career of Lil Yachty here for you on Before They're Famous. After we did it Before They're Famous on Little Uzi Vert, you guys had been requesting this video real hard, so I'm happy we're finally getting it done. I want to give a special shout out to Seat Geek for sponsoring this video, and let us know, as always, in the comments down below who you want us to document next. Yachty was born Miles Parks McCollum on August 23rd, 1997 in the west side of Atlanta, a suburb known as Mapleton. Sounds nice. His father, a photographer who has worked with some of the biggest musicians that have come out of Atlanta, and his mother, well she's the one he recently bought a brand new car for. Growing up, Miles' father would share with him all sorts of different types of music, everything from Coldplay to Kid Cudi, both of whom he still loves today. As he got older though, he started to take an interest in artists who broke away from the norm and would pave their own path. It was Lil B's I don't give a fuck attitude that he was mesmerized with, Andre 3000's artistry, and Soldier Boy's come up story. Now the rest of his childhood remains quite a mystery, but I did find this clip in one of his music videos. I, I, I can't love no bitch, every single hoe is trying. While working at McDonald's, Miles attended Pebble Brook High School. There he would hook up with other aspiring rappers and producers. Together they would call themselves the Yacht Club, and later the Sailing Team, which led to Lil Yachty receiving his moniker. I'm in a group called the Yacht Club, and they were all like a lot older than me. And I was kind of the baby, so I just called myself Lil Yachty. Now, the name The Sailing Team and Lil Yachty would work wonders because the manager presented an offer for Miles to promote the clothing line Nautical. Perhaps that's part of the reason his sound is now referred to as boat music. Now, a clothing hookup is not a bad start for a kid in high school, one that itself admittedly didn't have much game with the ladies. He opted to dye his hair red at the age of 15. Why? Well, he just wanted to be his true self. Let's all stop and get lunch at McDonald's. Chicken McNuggets. Dipping McDonald's Chicken McNuggets is a big hit with everybody. With some fresh gear and some ambition to make it in music, Little Yachty decided to spend his summer after graduating from school to network out in New York City, where he slept on a friend's couch. He made a list of all the coolest content influencers online, studying people like Ian Connor, who actually took notice of Yachty's supreme coat, and the two exchanged contact info. The summer was a success in terms of rubbing shoulders, but he was wasn't making any money off his music and he had little buzz. He soon ran out of money and when September came, he attended Alabama State University to make his mom happy. And while there, well, he wasn't happy himself. Where'd you go to college? Alabama State. And it just wasn't for you? It was trash. Why? Because they were like 10 years behind. 
and they they hated me. At school, little Yachty was the focal point of ridicule, getting made fun of every time he left his room. It got to the point where he simply stopped leaving his room. It was then he started seriously writing his music. Now I don't know how serious I would consider his lyrics, but what I'm saying is that he was focused, and he penned out Hello as well as Minnesota. When he had to go outside, he would wear hoodies in the blistering heat to cover his hair, and after two months, he had had enough. He dropped out and hooked up with his boys back home to make the music thing happen, this time for real. Around this time, it seems he had also gotten himself into some trouble. A dude with his exact same birth date, birth name, and you know, signature hairdo. Well, he was arrested in Palm Springs for shopping with fraudulent credit cards. His bond was eleven thousand dollars. So after that, he was back wearing nautical clothing for a little bit longer. Lil Yachty hooked up with a producer and beat maker who was also feeling like an outsider at the time, because other people they weren't liking his work. This guy was no other than Burberry Perry, and later his other main collaborator, K Supreme. Together, the three would. Get to work in Lil Yachty's bedroom studio, and he got his first taste of success when Drake's OVO Sound Radio aired his hit Minnesota. Soon he was getting managed by Coach K and working out of the same Atlanta studio as the Migos. I, I, I know that you like it for such a my neck and my wrist is so sloppy. His big break came with his track One Night, for which he filmed a pretty incredible music video stylized like a parody, getting some help from his high school pals. I know you want this for life, taking pictures with all my eyes. When the video was done, he posted it online and messaged it to all his New York contacts. It quickly got 100 retweets, and then 500 retweets, then 1,000, 10,000, 20,000, 100,000. Then World Star picked it up, then it was found on Facebook. And then Chief Keef decided to share it online. This video was everywhere. I just want you for the night. That buddy he had met in New York, Ian Connor, well, he introduced Lil Yachty to ASAP Rocky, who decided to take the young rapper along with him to New York for the Yeezy fashion show, which ended up with Lil Yachty up on stage. He has since gone on to collaborate with all those he's long looked up to, including Lil B and Soldier Boy, and he dropped two mixtapes, he's landed a deal, and has work coming out with the Sailing Club. Now if you guys are looking to catch a future concert of Lil Yachty's, or any other artist, well I want to introduce you guys to Seat Geek. Boom! This is the world's largest event ticket search engine. What they do is they search all the ticket prices on the web to get you the best seat possible with the best price. SeatGeek puts out a 1 to 100 score on each ticket to let you know if you are getting a good deal or a bad one. Green means good, red means bad. Now because I love all you guys, I got you a $20 off deal the first time you use SeatGeek. All you gotta do is use the promo code FAMOUS, there is a link down below. And we all know you're gonna scoop tickets, so you might as well just do it now. I'm actually gonna get some for myself for Blink-182. Ah, my street cred, it just went out the window. My favorite part is that they even give you a view from each seat so you can try before you buy. As for the rest of the story on Little Yachty, well, the rest of the story you know, because this is before their fans. My name is Mike McCredden, we do all sorts of celebrity bios on here, we've done a whole bunch of rappers. If you enjoyed this one, you might want to check out the one on Young Thug or Little Uzi Vert, Chance the Rapper, we've done a whole bunch. I've got more coming in the future, but you guys let me know who's next in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in another video.